a force of 200 newtons parallel to the line of inclination is applied to a block of mass 30 kilograms inclined on a 30 degree rough plane. The block accelerates one, up to 1.5 meters per second squared up the plane. Find the coefficient of the friction between the block and the plane. So here we got the block. Here is the force of 200 newtons being applied to it, accelerating at 1.5 meters per second squared along this line of inclination here. This is the frictional force acting against it because it's a rough plane. This is the reaction and this is the weight of the block. Right, so introducing I and J, and we're going to draw that line in and put 30 degrees in. So annotate the diagram is also a good technique. So resolving in the I direction, so we're resolving in this direction, so we're going to have 200 minus 30G sine of 30 for this, this one here, this force here, acting back down the plane, minus F is going to be equal to the mass of the block times the acceleration, which is 1.5. So this is the resultant force equal to MA from Newton's second law. That comes down to F being equal to 200 minus 30G sine 30 minus 30 times 1.5. We'll come back to that. Resolving in the J direction, so this is this direction, so we've got R going upwards minus 30 g cos 30 for this length here and that's going to be equal to zero that gives that r will be equal to 30 g cos 30 as the block is moving then the frictional force is equal to the coefficient times the resultant so mu will be equal to f divided by r so that's my F, which is 200 minus 30G sine 30 minus 30 times 1.5, divided by 30G cos 30. The top part, uh, G is 9.8 meters per second squared. The top part comes to 8, so it's going to be 8 divided by 30G cos 30, which is going to be 0 0.03142, which is equal to 0 0.0314. Say so we will ask for the exact answer. If we go back to here, 8 divided by 30 gives you 4 over 15, and cos of 30 is root 3 over 2. So we get 4 divided by 15g root 3 over 2. This 2 will come to the top, so we now get 8 over 15 root 3g. Rationalise the top and bottom, we have root 3 at root 3. Uh, root 3 times root 3 gives me 3, so 3 times 15 is 45, and then here at the top we're going to get 8 root 3. So we've got 8 root 3 over 45g being the exact answer, which sometimes you could be asked for.